Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take a project, a fairly large project with almost 40 scans. It was done indoors without any targets. And we are going to break this project up into clusters to make it easier to register. So the first thing that we can do uh, is grab our Explore tab up here. And we can see we've got quite a number of our scans. Uh, depending on how difficult uh, the landscape is of the focus of your project, uh, will kind of determine the size of the clusters. Uh, if you have some pretty complex uh, scan projects, you may want to go as few as five uh, scans per cluster. Uh, so here we're going to just uh, go a little bit larger. We're going to go with maybe six or seven, drag and drop them in there. And then we'll continue to do this until we've got all of our scans broken up into its, their own clusters. As you can see, we've got six total clusters. Each cluster we dragged and dropped scans into, basically making uh, the registration process a little bit easier. Uh, we can now go into our registration tab and one by one, we can auto register each of these. Because it's indoors and there were no targets, we can stick with the default setting, which is top view and cloud to cloud. We can leave all the rest of the settings as they are, and we begin to register and verify. We've got our first cluster as it begins to load. Got a cluster inside of a cluster, which looks like it's fine. And we'll finish and take a look at this in Explore. And as you can see, we've got uh, two different clusters and several outside. So let's take a look here. This gives us an opportunity to break the job up into smaller pieces. We've got two green lights. And as we see the numbers, we've got 0 and 1, we've got 3 and 6. Now, uh, the odds that 2, 4, and 5 are not going to fall somewhere between 3 and 6 are pretty slim. So, uh, most likely, uh, these three will end up in cluster 2. So, we just go to the Scans 1 folder cluster, uh, and we want to view that in Correspondence View, which gives us an opportunity to move all these scans around. Now we can see our first cluster over here in the corner and our remaining clusters or our remaining second cluster here. Um, and again, by the numbers, it looks as though at least four and five should drop inside of cluster number two. So what we can do then is we can just turn off the first cluster Get rid of the, turn the visibility off. And we're working exclusively with uh, the second cluster. Cluster two. As we take a look at it, we can start dropping the scans in place where we think they should go. If we take a quick look inside of cluster two, you can see that three is on the bottom, six is on the top. So obviously we're looking at two and four being close to three. So we've got two down here, three was here, four should most likely go there.
Now, it's important when you start sliding these scans together that you look at them from a side angle as well because sometimes you'll find that they're on a different plane and from the top they look perfect and from the side they may be all the way down at the bottom of your screen. So there's uh, that to remember when you're doing it. Now you've got scan number five and most likely uh, we ran scan two, three, four to the corner, five above. So uh, again, most likely that's what we're looking at. So we'll go ahead and run a quick uh, registration here again. But before we do that, we can go ahead and drop these three scans directly into the second cluster. And the reason being is we're trying to put this particular cluster together. And if we go up to our main scans folder and run a uh, registration, it's going to again try to put cluster one with cluster two. Right now we're worried just about cluster two. So we'll go ahead to the scans manager we can update scans. We can first begin with the uh, top view base and see how we do. Now our second clusters come together. So now we're going to go back and try to put the two clusters together. So we will lock each cluster. Now we can go into the main sub scan folder one view and correspondence. We'll do the same thing with the two clusters as we did with uh, the cluster and the straggling uh, scans. So we'll grab them here and we'll see exactly what might come together. By going into each individual scan Number one and number two should be next to each other. Unfortunately, by looking at this particular set of scans, it looks as though maybe the door was closed during the uh, between the two scans. So these two are actually not going to come together in this way. We may see that cluster number one here actually will be part of another cluster as we get into the project. So. Um, we will separate this. Now we'll take this auto cluster here, the one that did not go in with the rest, and drag it to the main scans folder. And we'll just update the scans because we took that, uh, that folder out of our, our sub cluster here. Lock it. So now you can see we've got scan folders one through six, and then the auto cluster that didn't belong inside of scans one. So we're going to go through and continue this, and each one of these clusters will then be registered. Once they're done, you can go back up to the main scans folder, go to the correspondence view, and then you're putting large clusters together of scans instead of a whole bunch of scans that may have not come together properly. So you'll be dealing with six to seven different clusters uh, instead of 40 different scans. Thank you and good luck.